this note right here you said was what? G. Good. And this note right next to it is C. C. Yeah, C. G, C, A, you said that, D. G, C, A, D. That's where, that's where your fret markers are. G, C, A, D. You can see you have fret markers, those big old awesome ones right there. G, C, A, D. So you can easily go to that. Like you can go, okay, you should be able to go to a D like that really quick, right? Okay, G, C, A, D, B, E, B, E. Okay, there you go. So let's let's practice those really quick. Three, five, seven, nine. We come up here to the ninth fret, and guess what? These are sharp, these are sharps. Okay, that is going to be a C sharp. Good. And then next to that is F sharp. Okay. Now, when we get up here. We're at the 12th fret, and you should have probably two dots on the side right there that tells you 12, okay? So that is another E, right? If we can cram all of our fingers in there. Yeah, and then right next to that is A. Okay, so what I want you to do, more important than even playing this song, is to go through and go G, C, a, D, B, E, C sharp, F sharp. You do that a few times and learn where those chords are, then you can kind of work backwards or forwards, right? See, because here's the problem, because a lot of times I'll go, what's this one right here? And everybody has to do this, well, E and then F and then F sharp. You know, you don't want to do that. You want to just know the third fret marker, okay? That's the three, five, seven. That's the seventh fret. The third fret marker. For you, you have, actually, you have a special one right here on your first fret, okay? So that's kind of different for you. You're special. But, but also, you can know what's at your first fret marker. That's F. Any other chords you want to add on to it, great, okay? But that way, you can get to them quickly, like this. E string root note, do, do you get what I'm saying when I say E string root note? That means the bass note, the first note you, you strum is gonna be right here on the E string. So check it out. F, okay, and how would you make that minor? Yeah, you can really tell it's minor, you can hear that. Because this is, what chord is this? E, and what's that one? Good. So you're just taking that same shape up. Right? See, we're just moving that same shape. Now, if we're doing an A string root bar chord, okay, that would mean that this, this chord is what? Good. And what's this chord? Hey, good. So then, this is still A. It's like a, if I moved it up here and grabbed this root note, you can hear it just went up a little bit. So what's that chord? If this one's A, then this one is? A sharp. Very good, very good. And look at this, what's this one? A sharp root. Very good, okay. And then what's this one? Good. And this is? Good. Okay. Look at this. This this will blow your mind. Watch. So B. 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 
that crazy? All those different places. B. 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 It's just, it's just like nuts, all the places you can start to play those chords when you read the first ones. We have A, major. So that's when you're fret five. Good. And then right next to it is D. Good. And then B minor, which is up here on the seventh fret. Okay, so you like gotta take a second to think about that. Like, how do I get to that? Here you go. And then, and raise that middle finger up. And then down to G. And that's gonna be on your third fret. One more up. There you go. Okay, so that's gonna start you out really slow here, like this. So A, then C, then up to back to B minor. So I'll go C or D, excuse me, D to E and then back to that B minor. So let's go through that again and I'll show you and then we'll, then we'll be done with that. So here we go. A, just real slow. Two, three, four. So we're, we'll, we'll, we're, there's going to be one change there. So we'll go up just to A to D, back to A. Okay, we'll, we'll work on those. But listen, as you're playing those, again, I don't care what the chords are to the song, other than you knowing what chords you're playing. That's the most important thing. So if you can walk away going, okay, well, I know this is a B minor. There's your A, there's a G. Boy, we've got all three of those frets covered that we were talking about, three, five, seven. Okay, and uh, then we've got that D and an E. All we're missing is a C, and you've got three, five, seven covered on there, and some, and you're learning a ton. Okay, good job. See, look how fast you already can do that. I could do that was at eighty percent. So 